Hello and welcome everyone to another beautiful episode of Gatsby with WordPress. So since we have been learning about building Gatsby theme, uh, in this video we are going to learn about how to use Storybook for Gatsby. Now if you're wondering what Storybook if this is new to you, then Storybook is actually an open source tool for developing the UI components in isolation for different uh, for different libraries like React or Vue, or you can use it for Angular as well, not just React. Okay, so the question is why do we use Storybook? I mean, couldn't we have just developed uh, in a normal way, just using a regular component? Well, there is a, a difference of use, there is a benefit of using the Storybooks, which I'm going to tell you. So this is the storybook for you and as you can see it's running on a different port, port 9000 and uh, you can see that there are different components available. For example, you can have a component for that decides, that tells you what are the different colors that are used, what are different styles that are used, so kind of create components for your style guides and you can refer to them whenever you want. And uh, then you can have different components like for your home page this is your home page and this I can consider as a component this part so you can see that you have the hero section as one component so you can completely focus on this particular component when you're developing it and you are not really disturbed or you know worry about uh, doing anything apart from this particular component and if you want to reuse it it can directly be shipped it comes with your HTML, your CSS, your style, everything all packed together in kind of one directory and then it can be reused whenever it wants to. If you want to just delete it, just hit the delete button of that folder and that component goes off along with its own style and everything, right? Isn't that wonderful? I mean, it's so clean. Imagine if your application was tightly coupled with all of the components and each component had a dependency on a different one it would have been then difficult for you to go and find out uh, which are different styles applied for that component remove them uh, in case if you're planning to if, if for example if your client tells you that I, you know, I want to go ahead and remove that particular component I don't want that right so it's a tedious task to do so this makes it a lot simpler right uh, so let me show you the structure of the project. So take a look at this. These are my components and let's say that this is my home and that was the hero section. You can see you've got stories. So inside of story structure I've got my story available. So this is my story that you see and I've got my style available which means that if I don't want this component I can just delete this particular hero folder and everything that's attached to it goes away. So the JavaScript goes away, the CSS goes away and I don't have to worry about what is my dependency. Everything is just clean and, and you know separate, isolated. That's why the isolation word is used. Now of course your header and footer should be separate. So this is my header and this is my footer. So ideally we, you can build them in isolation as well. So for example you've got footer over here. You can see this is a separate component altogether. You've got the header. So this is again a separate component as well right and uh, take a look at this uh, so here you have the header and so the stories and everything that comes with it is inside of it similarly for footer as well so footer stories right so this is pretty useful uh, also when you're working with multiple developers and uh, you know for example you are working on the header and you can work in isolation you don't have to worry about what your other developer is doing and then the other one, the other developer can work on footer. So in this fashion, multiple developers can work on multiple components without having to worry about the dependency. And uh, one thing cool about this is that it lets you define the data structure. So you can have a file which has all of your data ready. So you know that what shape of the data is going to come later on. And tomorrow when you have to refer to it, let's say you're running GraphQL queries and you're grabbing the data from an API, uh, you know, you are actually explicitly defining this data structure so you know exactly what it's going to be coming. So you just feed it with the dummy data so, and that's what you see over here and in the actual website you use the actual data. So this is pretty useful in my opinion and I'm, I'm sure you're going to love it. 
uh, initially it may be a little overwhelming for you to understand but then I promise you when you actually start working on it it will be pretty useful awesome so in the next video we are going to talk about how to install and set up storybook for you I'm pretty excited about this and I'm sure you are as well and if you did like my video uh, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already you can follow me on github uh, my github handle is Imran H. Sayed and uh, this is the theme that you see Gatsby WordPress theme in case if you are a beginner if you want to just use the theme this is all set up for you you can use it and we have a live demo for that as well okay and my twitter handle is Coditech, uh, so make sure to follow me there as well awesome so I'm gonna see you in the next video take care